So welcome to course two. Um, if you haven't been around from the very beginning, we are going to work on our problem solving method in these problems. You'll watch Dr. Hafner's videos and then we'll go through some problems and give you some practice. Our problem solving method that we use is called the guess method. The, we'll go through it for this problem, but I'll tell you what it stands for. This is givens, unknowns, equation, then we have the solve step, which we'll do together, and then we write the solution. Box it and make sure you put units. So we'll go through that, that process every time we do a problem, <clears throat> and hopefully that'll give you some practice so that when it's time for you to solve your problems on your exam, then you'll have a method. So we're going to work a problem. We've moved from linear quantities to quantities that are moving in circles. And for this one, we're doing angular quantities. So we're going to talk about things that are rotating. And so the first problem that you're going to work with me is about a piece of dust on a CD. You may not know what that is. Ask your mom, your aunt. So we've got a piece of dust on a CD, and the spin rate is 500 revolutions per minute, or RPMs. The piece of dust is 4.3 centimeters from the center, and we want to know what the total distance traveled by that piece of dust is in three minutes. We're assuming it stays on the CD, and we're assuming that it's a, it's a, a constant speed, that there's no acceleration. So here are our givens. We write our units on this givens because these aren't your standard units. Standard units of angular velocity are radians per second, but we're going to leave this like this, and you'll figure out why in a minute. We've got our time. It's not in seconds, but we're going to leave it in minutes. And we've got our radius. Our r is our distance from the center, which is, we're going to put that in meters, 0 0.043 meters. It's 4.3 centimeters. The question asks us to find the distance traveled by the dust in three minutes. So we write down our equations, and I'll have these ready for you. Um, we need the equation for circumference. And we also need this new equation for angular velocity that looks remarkably like linear velocity, but with different symbols. So angular velocity is angular displacement over time. Now, if your angular velocity is in revolutions per minute, you can get revolutions as, an angular, as your angular displacement but your standard units are going to be radians. So let's figure out what's going on. We need to find the distance, but we want to first find what our angular displacement is in revolutions. So we're going to solve this for angular displacement, and we get 500 revolutions per minute. We've got three minutes. Your units cancel, and you get that your angular displacement is 1,500 revolutions. So one revolution is one circumference. And so now we're going to use the second equation, and we're going to plug in that we're going 1,500 circumferences, and that will tell us how far our piece of dust has traveled. Okay, plug that into your calculator, and you get that it's about 405 meters. So take your answer, put it over here in your solution box. It's actually okay for you to just box it wherever it is, but I'll always have the solution written over here so that if you're just checking, you'll know where to look. The answer to this goes in the solution box, that's your final S, boxed with units. Remember to use that problem-solving method every time, and it'll become second nature to you. Look forward to the rest of the problems. <laughs>